I came here to build a great team, but more importantly, I came here to build a program that lasts. And I think the way you go about that is you have great integrity and you have great passion. And that's something that I want people when they watch our teams to see it all over. Passion and integrity. That's the way I know how to do it. There's a lot of promise, a lot of excitement, but what really matters is the promise over time, the daily investment. That is what it takes to build a program. And I am so excited to do that here at the University of Virginia. Virginia moves with one lead, Harrison open three! but joy comes in the morning. Absolutely, joy will come in the morning for what these guys have established for Virginia basketball. You guys have honored the pillars in the program, and that's the greatest gift to me. You are the result of all the people that are willing to, to be part of it through the successes and the failures. And we just keep knocking, and that's what I tell these guys. And if you play this game and you step into the arena, you can handle the worst that would happen, and you can handle the best because they know what matters passion and integrity. That's the way I know how to do it. I want you guys to just take a look at each other. Just kind of remember this moment. I want you to look at each other, the guys that played for us before, the guys who have been part of this. Do me a big favor. We, we played that song. Get in here, get in here. We played that song. Look, this city's not going to change us. Do this for me. Promise me you guys will remain so humble and so thankful for this all. This, this is unbelievable. It is. But stay humble and stay so thankful. You, you just experienced something so good. And these guys built the foundation and you guys just built on it and built on it. And it's unbelievable. So I, I just give thanks. You know how I feel about you guys and about this is really about family. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the architect of it all, Tony Bennett. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of people say, why are you wearing a tie, Coach Bennett? And I said, I'll wear a tie for a funeral, I'll wear a tie for a wedding, and I'll wear a tie for a national championship celebration. So that's why I'm wearing a tie. Also, I said wear a tie if I get to go to Augusta and when I get to go to the country club and eat at the room. So that's the other time I wear it. Um, that video, um, weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. I think joy has come, don't you? So for sure. Uh, and actually watching that video, I think uh, a lot of great hair has come since I've been here 10 years. I was thinking about that. I think the main guy who gave me the most gray hair, where's Justin Anderson? I think Justin, <laughs> having Coach Justin, I think you gave me the most, the most gray hair. So um, as Carla and everybody said and Dave said, this night's about remembering and celebrating. And just to see that video, um, it didn't get any better for me than... Um, after we had cut down the nets out on the floor at Minneapolis and all the celebrations there, when we went back in the locker room and we got to just have that moment where we put our arms around each other and um, Coach Sanchez was there, Malcolm, Justin, Devin, um, or Joe Harris, he was there. It was a, a moment that I'll, I'll never forget. And they even showed the clip. And I, I want to say this, just trying to remember some certain memories. The Purdue game. Now, I've been a coach. I've been a player, I've been an assistant coach at all levels, and I've been a part of some of the, I think, most high-level games. I remember the Sweet 16 game against Michigan State a number of years ago. That was a heavyweight fight in Madison Square Garden. Uh, but that game against Purdue, and by the way, we were a one seed, and, and I think it was like 95% Purdue people. I mean, that, that was the deal here. I don't know how that worked out but how our guys responded. That was probably the most high-level game I've ever been a part of as a player and coach. Obviously, what Carson Edwards did was amazing, 
But I watched it, and of course the ending was spectacular, but to see how our guys answered, I mean, from the start of that game, it was one play after another, defensively, offensively, Jack Salt, Ty, of course the Kihei play with Mamadi, Kyle, um, man, there was, Trey, you did some good stuff too, actually. You made a nice drive, so. <laughs> Unbelievable, he made the big basket. Every guy made plays in that game. And I'm telling you, that, that game, that memory, when I think about that moment, all that was at stake for these guys, and forget about statistics, we did. We had faith and we had great players, and um, it was meant to be. But, but that moment, I look at that game and I say, that was, to me, something special. Second of a memory, um, I don't know if you guys will remember this, but I hopefully will, Ty and Kyle and Jay. You guys were on your official visit. And DeAndre, you were on your official visit. Everybody was committed except DeAndre. And we were sitting in that old film room. Um, and I shared with those guys, I said, guys, uh, three of you guys have decided to, to come. Obviously, we're trying to convince DeAndre. But, but the program before you, the foundation's been laid with guys like Malcolm Brogdon and Joe Harris, Evan, Justin. The list goes on and on. They built a foundation in the right way. They won ACC championships. They'd been to an Elite Eight and Sweet Sixteens. I'm asking you guys, if you're willing, will you come and take the next step for this program? It's gonna be the hardest step, and I don't know if you can remember, but I sat there and I said, we're not just trying to build on top of the foundation, we're trying to build the next level, maybe the penthouse. And I said, it's not for everybody, um, but I can remember that moment. And actually, I, I remember one of the greatest memories, DeAndre, is then that evening we were all at the house. And I remember we were having dinner, met with uh, DeAndre and Aaron, and um, DeAndre kind of told me, thought about it. He said, Coach, he said, I want to come to Virginia. And I can tell you, the excitement at our house, um, it was amazing to be able to tell everybody, hey, guess what? Dre's committing, he's coming to UVA. And that class, I knew they were special, and I knew they needed something special to advance. So I, I think of that moment and, um, and what that means to me. Uh, I remember we played Florida in the NCAA tournament game. It was Ty and Kyle, this is a memory of you guys, your first year. There was about a minute or two left. We were getting our doors blown off. We were down, really, it might have been 30 plus. And I don't know, Ty, if I was putting you in, but Kyle, you and Ty, you guys were at the scorer's table. And I, I walked over to you, and you kind of had, had that bad feeling. It was just, it was a second round game. And I kneeled down next to you, and I said, I said, take this in. I said, we're going to get better. I said, this is, this is, you learn from this, you grow from this. Well, then that next year, it was an unbelievable year. And obviously, you know how it ended. I decided at that moment, after that game, I said, you know what, we're going to honor our seniors, our fourth years, we're going to honor Isaiah and Devin. They don't need to go up to the podium to do the, the press stuff. And I said, Ty and Kyle, I said, you're, you're coming with me. And we sat in this holding room, and we knew what had happened. We know the historic loss, everything was there. And I remember us looking at each other, and we both had that, that feeling, all of us had that feeling. And I said, this is the start. I said, we're going to grow from this. This is going to be one of the hardest things, but you're going to sit on that podium, and we're going to take all the criticism, we'll take all the questions, and we're going to go up there. And we were numb. I don't even know what we said. It was so hard. But you guys, you stood in there, and then the season came, and then I saw what unfolded. And um, that's the memory I have. That's real stuff. That's not fake. Um, when I think of this team, um, I, think of a, I think of a proverb. I might have shared it to him before, but it's a proverb that says, uh, a desire accomplished is sweet to the soul. And, and this is about as sweet as it gets. And I was watching the US Open just this week, and Rafa Nadal made a comment. And I heard it, and I thought of you guys right, right away. He said, every champion must be willing to endure suffering. And I thought of this team. Because on the backdrop of this accomplishment, um, and I look at it, um, that's probably the thing I'll hold most dear when I think about it, how you guys endured, uh, what happened in the face of that, and what it did for us. Yeah, it produced what we're going to raise. I think the banner's there. I, think we're, I don't even know where we're raising the national championship banner. But yeah, it produced a national championship season and banner. But, but I think what it did was something to me, maybe as great or greater, um, 
It produced a, a level of trust, a, a, a deepening of a relationship, and um, it was with each other. I think we knew we were going to need each other, and if we didn't know it, in a more powerful way for what all was going to come at us in that year. And I think about that, and I think of the bond that it brought to us, and I think of what it did. And um, you know, to me, that was one of the most powerful ways to go through a season. There's a line we're going to show you. I think we're showing you a video tonight. We used a lot of music. There's a line um, from a song, Back Home by Andy Grammer, and it says, here's to the people who had your back when the world didn't understand. We won't forget where we came from. And, and when I think of that, when I think of all we had to go through, and I think of, of what that was, that was our teammates having each other's back. That was our families having each other's back. Um, to go through that is one of the most amazing things. And again, that probably is, is the greatest thing. And I think that's where that theme, United Pursuit, that's where it was born. Um, you know, I also believe that victory brought some healing and some unity to our city and our community, the one we love, this university. I saw some things, and I, I'm so grateful for that, too. So um, I want to share that. So I was thinking about it. I think every, at least every coach, I don't know if every player, had their moment during the NCAA tournament run when they broke, when they were just overwhelmed. And it just it hit you. I probably had a few of them, but there was one that was specific. It was after the Auburn game, and I remember, and by the way, absolutely, it wasn't even a doubt. Kyle was followed, there's no question. I don't even know the issue here. And absolutely, Ty, Ty, they couldn't even see it in slow motion. I mean, the guy grabs his jersey, he makes a move, it's people complaining about double dribble, come on, man, no way. So, so we, know, we know the deal there. Um, but um, I remember, it was that moment, I went back to the hotel room, and I, I was in the room by myself. Actually, I think, Laurel, you were down at the bar with my mom doing shots, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I learned a lot about my mom in this uh, NCAA tournament run, too. I gotta be honest with you. Um, but, but it was there, I was in my room, I was sitting on the bed, and the floodgates opened. It's true, they really did. And I just sat there, and um, I realized at that moment, all of the ridicule, all the criticism, all the humility, all the things that happened, at that moment it was crystal clear that it was all worth it. It absolutely was, because what we had to, thank you. It, it, it made sense, it really did, and, and I think that, that moment, it, it kind of drew home that we tried to rally around that quote, um, that quote from the TED Talk that we've talked about a lot, that um, if you learn to use failure, suffering, adversity right, it can buy you a ticket to a place you couldn't have gone any other way. And um, I, I, um, I have this in my pocket. This is, um, this is the ticket from the UMBC game when we played, and this is the, the actual ticket. I know, I think, Kyle, you had something on your phone and Ty, you had, uh, didn't you wear the Charlotte Hornet color shoes, the Kobe shoes, kind of to remember that. We all had something, but this ticket, this ticket, and this is, this is the national championship ticket. And, and I want to hold this up, because I, I told this to our guys before, but uh, if you learn to use adversity right, it'll buy you a ticket to a place you couldn't have gone any other way. And um, it did that. One side note, one side note to that story that someone sent me a video of this and it was amazing. Someone said during the Auburn game when Kyle was sinking those free throws, um, there was a concert in JPJ. There was a Charlie Daniels band was performing right at that time. And they said when Kyle was at the line, everybody was standing up. Some people obviously were watching their phones, but he was performing the song. Um, he, he sang the old church hymn, How Great Thou Art. And he said, everybody's standing up singing that song as Kyle makes the last free throw. The crowd's raising their hands, going nuts, and they're singing How Great Thou Art. I just think that's amazing. I really do. I have that on video. So um, there was a lot of stuff going. So as I said, uh, tonight we're here to celebrate. And um, I think we're celebrating. I know I'm a little biased, but I really believe it's one of the greatest sports stories ever told. And I don't doubt that. I really don't. And I want to say thank you 
to the young men, the players, um, you know you mean the world to me, what you did, what we shared, I think that video showed it. Um, I couldn't have asked for a better group of young men to, to go to the war with. I want to thank the parents of the young men. You guys shaped these guys so that they could withstand the stuff that they did. So thank you to the parents who are here. I want to say thank you to my staff. I got the best staff in the world um, and what they did, and they're awesome. So thank you guys for going through it. And then, of course, I want to thank my wife, Laurel, and my daughter, Anna, and son, Eli, and my mom and dad for, for unconditional love. You learn a lot about what unconditional means when you're in uh, this profession. So you guys are the best. And then lastly, I just want to say thank you to all of the fans. I can't believe how many people came, to all the faithful supporters and the fans. This will never be forgotten. So uh, it's an honor to be your coach, and I thank you so much. Have a great night.